In Surah Yunus, Surah 10 of the Quran, verse 58, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِكِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَهُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Say, O Prophet sallallahu alayhi in Allah's grace and mercy, let them rejoice. فَلْيَفْرَهُ That is far better than what they accumulate, i.e. your wealth. It is better than that. Your children, it is better than that. Your wealth, your fame, your name, it is all better than that. کہ آپ کہے نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سے فرمان یہ اللہ کے فضل اور اس کی رحمت کے سبب سے ہے تو اس کی وجہ سے مسلمان خوشی منائیں خوشی مناؤ اللہ تبارک و تعالی کے فضل اور رحمت کا what when that bounty of Allah سبحانہ و تعالی قومز that mercy of Allah سبحانہ و تعالی قومز show your happiness جشن مناؤ so what is the milad? The milad is that rejoice. That is that falyafarahu. That is what it is. That is that rejoicing at that mercy and the blessing of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kyunke Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ke Rasul ke se bar ke ziyada hor koi rahmat hor koi fadil hai hi nahi. Iske baad jo bhi aata hai wo isse kam hai. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ye us maal se kehi better hai, jis ko wo jama karte hai. And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fahaddith. Surah Duha, Surah 93 of the Quran, verse 11. Proclaim the blessings of your Lord. Is there a greater blessing to proclaim than the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is se bar ke koi ni'mat hai? Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ka hukum hai yaha. Apne rab ki ni'mato ko buland karo. Milad ka maqsid yehi hai. Apne rab ki rahmat ko, apne rab ki fadal ko, us ni'mat ko buland karo. Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ke aane ka. So how can anybody say that what you are doing is wrong when Allah is telling us to do this? If you have an issue with it, go and take it up with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. Don't take it up with us when we are only showing thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are being grateful servants to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ham shakirin me se shimar ho rahe hain. Kya shakir hona? Ye bidat hai? Shakir hona? Kya ye haram hai? Thik hai bai, wo kehte hain ke aap sirf ek din me karte hain. Koon kehta ham ek din me hi karte hain. They say you only do it for one day. Who says that we only do it for one day? Every single day that we wake up, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for waking us up as a Muslim from the ummah of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a mawlid. Ye milad hai. Every single day you stand in prayer in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aapka namaz parna ye milad hai. Every single act of worship that you do to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is Mawlid on Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if anybody says that no, this is incorrect, then their understanding is incorrect and they need to retrace where they took their quote unquote knowledge from. In Surah Anbiya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us, Surah 21 verse 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ we did not send you except as a mercy to mankind. Ke Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ke Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ka zikr ho raha hai. Or humne aap ko tamam jahano ke liye rahmat bana kar beja hai. We sent you as a mercy for all of the worlds. So when that mercy has been sent to us, how can we not show thanks? How can we not be happy at the coming of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? How can we not celebrate this? So if brothers want to let off fireworks, if they want to let off gunshots, obviously in the lands that is allowed, I'm talking about Yemen and these places where they do it, and don't start doing it here, you'll get arrested, right? So when they're doing it, whatever method they choose, when brothers are handing out roses in the t town square, in Market Square, they're handing out roses with a hadith on there. 
when they're putting banners up on buses, paying for advertisement, when there's brothers on M6, M1, M62, putting big signs up, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, paying for all of this from their own pockets, this is shukr. This is an innovation, isn't it? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi didn't come to the M1 to put a sign up. There's no hadith telling us to go and put banners on buses. Every single thing that they are doing, this is to show shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wallahi, this is my faith that every single one of these people will be rewarded for it. Every time an individual is driving past it and they see that sign and they recite it, they will receive the reward for it. And the brothers who are paid for it, they will receive the reward for it as well. All of this is molded on Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Visiting a masjid when you're out with your boys in Cambridge, just because it is the house of Allah, and you know this is the house of Allah, this is mawlid. Because everything connects you to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Surah Ma'idah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Surah 5 verse 15, he says, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولُنَا قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورًا وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ our messenger has come to you. A light from Allah has come to you and a clear book. Many of the Mufassirin have said that this light from Allah is referring to the Prophet Sallallahu There is some ikhtilaf, but our view is, it's referring to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi for you as well, in case you're wondering. Ke beshak tumare paas hamara rasool aagya. Beshak aagya tumare rab ki taraf se Noor or Roshan Kitab. This has come to you. So what? Acknowledge it. Follow this guidance. The Prophet Wasallam said what in that final khutbah? I leave behind for you two things. The Quran and the Sunnah. So when this has come towards us, this has been left behind for us. How can we not show thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How can we be so ungrateful? If on the 12th of Rabi al Awwal, some individual comes to the masjid, to kya hua? Puri saal ke liye wo masjid mein nahi aata. Bara Rabi al Awwal ko wo masjid mein aagya is mein kharaj kya hai? If he comes to the house of Allah for even one day in the year, where is the harm in this? Tell me where the harm is in this. Is he going to a nightclub, na'udhu billah? Is he going to a shisha cafe? Na'udhu billah? Is he going to these haram places? No, he's not. He's coming to the house of Allah. Aapko kya pata ke wo wahid raat mein wo jo masan mein aata hai, uske liye hidayat kyun nahi ban sakti? Mere liye bani. You all knew what I was like 10, 15 years ago. What changed me? Mawlid on Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Going to a mawlid gathering organized by Sufi Omar, visiting there and attending the gathering with Imam Khalid changed my heart. Now if, if I listen to the Jahiz who said, Milad haram hai, mat jao milad mein. You don't come to the masjid regularly. Why are you going for this? Why are you going on this retreat? This is the innovation. If I had listened to them, then I guarantee you right now, I wouldn't be sitting here. And these brothers that come here, the youngsters, they wouldn't be sitting in this masjid. Allahu alam where they would be. You can ask them themselves. Now, we go towards the hadith. This is from the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is recorded by Abu Qatada. I'm only going to use sign hadith here. So no one says, Aki, this is a weak hadith. Even though their understanding is weak, hence why they say it's a weak hadith, we're not going to act upon it. Abu Qatada radiallahu an, he relates hadith we find in the collection of Imam Muslim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi was asked about fasting on Mondays. Ki ya Rasulullah, aap Monday ko roza kyu rakhte ho? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam he replied, Fihi wulitu wa fihi unzila alayya. That is the day in which I was born and the day in which the revelation descended upon me. Usi din mein meri milad hui aur usi din par mere upar wahi nazil hui. 
So this is the method of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam celebrating his milad, celebrating his mawlid with ibadah. And this is what we do. When we are celebrating the mawlid of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, a'udh billah, we don't hire out a hall and just, you know, put some disco lights on and, you know, have a good time. No, we come to the masjid and we do ibadah. There is the Quran recitation. There is the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is the praise of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is a reminder to brothers and sisters. Then you feed your guests. At'imu ta'am, which is the order of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he came into Medina from Makkah. Feed and honor your guests. Spread the salams. So you honor your guests and then you leave. But for us it was something different this year. Alhamdulillah, you missed it. Right? We went through the entire seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 75 hours in the month of Rabi al Awwal. Tell me now this is a bad thing that we are doing. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his celebration was what? Keeping the rosa, keeping a fast. For us, we do our ibadah. In the collection of Imam Muslim from Sayyidina Abu Sa'id al Khudri from Amir Muawiyah radiallahu anhuma. He mentions Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went out to a circle of his companions. Sahaba ikram bete te ek majma'a mein. Aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam unki taraf aaye aur aap sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne farmaya ke aap yaha kyu bete ho? Why are you sat here? What has made you gather here? They said, Jalasna Nazkurullah wa Nahmaduhu ala ma hadana lil Islam wa manna bihi alayna. They replied, To remember Allah and to praise Him for guiding us to Islam and bestowing blessings upon us. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ka zikr karna, uski hamd karna, kyuke usne hame dine Islam ki taraf laya or hamare upar. اس نعمت کو مکمل کیا اس لیے ہم یہاں بیٹھے ہیں the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم didn't ask them to sit here they are sitting there of their own choice within the masjid the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم he says to them he says I adjure you by Allah to tell me nothing else has made you sit together کہ قسم کھاؤ کہ آپ صرف صرف اور صرف اس ہی وجہ سے یہاں بیٹھے ہو they said, by Allah, hum Allah ki qasam khate hain, hum faqad isi wajah se yaha bete hain. We are only sat here for this purpose. No other reason has made us sat here. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa says, I did not adjure you because I suspected you. Me is liye aap se ye, yile ye sawalat nahi kar raha, kyunke me aap ke upar shak kar raha. Lekin meri taraf abhi abhi Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam aay hain, اور انہوں نے مجھے کہا کہ اللہ تبارک و تعالی فقر کر رہا ہے ملائکہ سے کہ آپ یہاں بیٹھے ہو اور اس مجمع کا that I am not asking you because I suspect you but I am asking you because Jibreel has just come to me and he has informed me that Allah سبحانہ و تعالی is mentioning this gathering with pride to his malaika, the angels in the heavens. So what do we learn from this? Allah or uske rasool ka zikr yaha buland karoge, to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala aap ka zikr asmano mein buland karega. If you mention the blessings, if you do the zikr of Allah and his rasool in gatherings on the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention your gatherings in the heavens to the angels with pride. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was given the revelation. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu an, collection of Sunnah al-Qubra of Imam Bayhaqi. When he was given the revelation, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he performed an aqiqah, a sacrifice for himself after declaring his prophethood. To what? To show the gratitude of receiving this revelation. So we take from this 
Whichever way you show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a blessing, it will, inshallah, it will be accepted. Imam Suyuti rahimahullahu ta'ala in his Husnul Maqsid fi Amal al Mawlid, he says, It is recommended for us to show our gratitude and to express happiness by holding gatherings, distributing food, and performing other acts of devotion like it. It is mustahab for you to do so. Now, final thing before we end. I've already mentioned to you, wherever you go in the world, you will find the lovers of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam performing the Mawlid. Having these Mawlid gatherings, even in the Arabian Peninsula, the occupied lands of Arabia, Makkah and Medina. Even in these lands, you will find these lovers. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from Anas ibn Malik, collection of Ibn Majah, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, my ummah will not agree collectively upon error. So if you notice a disagreement, then you must adhere to the greater majority, i.e. the collective body. The Prophet ﷺ in Ibn Majah from Awf bin Malik, he ﷺ said, the ummah, my ummah will split into 73 sets. One will be saved. The Prophet ﷺ was asked by the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, who is this saved set? He ﷺ said, al-jama'ah, the collective majority. So, when the collective majority are celebrating Mawlid al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa they are carrying out those actions which earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hold on to their rope because their rope is guiding you to the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How do we know that we are the majority? We have approximately 13 masajids in Nottingham. There are only two of those who disagree with Mawlid. Where is the majority? Hold on to the majority. Don't go onto your social media and hear Menk talking in his, you know, jokers and his banter, etc. And think, yeah, these guys are cool. Look at the chain of transmission. Look at the chain of transmission and look at what you are being called to. We are inviting you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are inviting you to follow the Sirat al Mustaqim. We are calling you to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whereas these people are telling you to stay away from the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqal ko istamal karo. Ek groh keh raha hai ke masjid mein aao. Dusra groh aapko keh raha hai masjid mein mat jao. Ek groh keh raha hai Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ka zikr karo. Nabi Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ki hamd karo. Naati sharif paro. Dusra keh raha hai ye sab haram hai. Is se dur raho. Sahi koon hai, galat koon hai, aqal ko istimal karo. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us upon the straight path. If anybody has any doubts, they want to do any debating, they want to throw fists, etc. Come and see me at the end and I'll put you towards Sufyan. You can speak to him, inshallah. Wa ma alayna la balaghul mubeen wa sallallahu ala sayyidu muhammadin wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam salimu kthira. Please perform your sunnahs.